Okay, so I'm going to try a little experiment tonight. Instead of putting each of my products on my hair separately, I'm going to mix them together and put them on all at once in one step. I'm hoping this will save a little bit of time for me. So I've taken my coconut oil and it's at room temperature or colder so it's quite quite stiff and I've put it in this little spoon which is probably about a fourth of a teaspoon. I'm planning on putting that on my hair first so I'm going to plop the spoon um, out onto my hands, rub my hands together and rub that through my hair. Then the rest that you see in here I have my perfectly undone tresemme conditioner that's about three tablespoons and then I have my water-based lubricant Lulu is the brand and I put about eight pumps in there so this is basically oil for added moisture leave-in conditioner and gel and I will show you how I apply this to my hair in a moment okay so I'm back I am going to show you how I put my product in my hair to get it nice and curly I just got out of the shower I washed with my nice um, Tresemme undone, whoop, this is the wrong one, undone <laughs> conditioner. And uh, now I am going to apply some coconut oil on my hair. Rub together. And I was going to put this on my hair, but I just remembered that my hair started drying um, since I already got dressed and everything. So let me wet my hair. You really do want your hair to be very wet. Um, you know, I mean, you don't want the water dripping down your your neck and all, but it really does need to be very wet. So let me get a little more on here. And that might do. Okay. So then we're going to do this coconut oil. I have been using... Um, Pantene shampoo because it has a sulfate in it, which means it's going to strip um, some of the extra buildup that I was getting on my hair um, from some other products um, that I was using. I did it on purpose because I knew that it would um, be necessary so that I didn't have the buildup on my hair, but um, I think it's been making my hair get kind of dried out, so that's why I'm using the coconut oil today. I'm not going to be using the Pantene anymore. I think I could definitely use more coconut oil, but I, this is the first time I've done it with the coconut oil, so I'm not going to put too much. All right, and now I have in this little dish about three tablespoons of my undone conditioner, and I have eight squirts of my water-based lubricant. Um, this is a really nice product that I found. It's in a really nice bottle. Um, you can't tell what it is. This is my hair gel. This is Lube. And it's called Lulu. That's the name of the brand. So I'm just going to mix this together in this little dish. <laughs> and start globbing this on my ha hair. Um, three tablespoons of conditioner and eight squirts of the Lulu. And you really do want this thick. Um, you can see there's quite a lot on my hands. There's a lot left in that dish. We'll see whether or not I use it all. So I'm going to start raking it in and kind of sliding it all around all the different directions. It doesn't matter if you get it on thick because believe me, you're going to rub that in. Okay, you really want your hair to be slippery. Another little blob there all on my hands. And go to town. Get that stuff on there really thick. It might look white right now in some places, um, but that's okay. It's not going to show when we're all done. Look at how that makes the hair clump together. Look at that. Okay, so it's starting to feel really slippery. I want to make sure it's all inside. I have really thick hair, so I'm going to get that all dispersed in. And in a minute, I'm going to flip my head over. All the way up to all my roots. Okay, one more blob. I don't know if I can do four blobs. This is three. Um, my hair's really not that long, so three. And I'm flipping. Here we go. Hoi! <laughs> this 
I don't know if you can see me. There we go. Make sure it's getting everywhere. Now when you flip your hair over, it's a little bit easier to get down inside those layers. Okay. And I am going to pull my hair, let's see, I'm going to pull my hair all the way forward, all the way forward, all the way from my bangs, all the way forward. This is going to really give me some extra body and cause those curls to really start lifting off my scalp. Okay, now I'm not, I'm not roughing it up too much yet. I really want to pull it all forward right now. I'm actually having my fingertips touch my scalp as I pull down. I really want it to come all the way down. All right, that product is on there nice and thick. Get those curls separating. And then shake. Ready, set. Okay, and I'm going to turn down even more because I really want it loose from the top of my head. Okay, now it's crunch time. Okay. Here we go. Crunch. Okay, you got to listen. This is really squishy. Okay, listen up. Can you hear that? Ooh, look at that. That is squishy. This is great, guys. Put that product right back in there. Don't let it all come out. This is making my curls very clumpy, which is great because then they're gonna be really thick ringlets. All right, I'm gonna scrunch this just a little bit more, pretty tight, as tight as I can so that that really helps to hold that curl. As uh, Since I put that lube in there, it is going to help hold the curl. And as it dries, it's going to develop a cast, as it's called. It's going to make it crunchy. And I just won't touch it at all until it's completely dry. And then I will scrunch it again after it's completely dry. And all that crunchiness will come out. Alright, so I want to make sure that this hair lays the way I want it to um, while it dries so it doesn't get all wonky on me. So I like to flip my hair to the right and a little bit back, shake, scrunch one more time so that it doesn't fall in my face. Wow. I love this look with the way that it's dark and just so separated and everything. Um, my hair doesn't usually look quite like this unless I use these kind of products. And it's just going to dry curlier and curlier. I'm also going to use my um, diffuser. Okay, there we go. That looks great. This side over here I think will get plenty of body once it dries. Oh, there we go. Ooh, let's do that again. You can't really scrunch it too much. And just hold it. Oh, and I didn't do any finger twirls. I could. Um, sometimes right here in the front you want to get a couple of those hairs and actually curl them with your finger. Um, maybe this one right here. I can't decide which way it wants to go. Two hairs are clumped together there and they're really in different places, so I'm going to separate those and just literally curl it. Um, I could even just put it right around my finger like this. Go around like a little curling iron. Scrunch that together. Ta da And there we go. So when that dries, that'll be a nice ringlet. Here's one that's a little frizzy. Take care of it. That's really skinny too, though, actually. I'm going to connect it to some more hair so that it can be a fuller ringlet. There we go. There's nothing wrong with placing some of these curls where you want. Let's check this one. I think this one needs to be split too. This is actually something you could do with a comb. A lot of times if you take a comb and go like this, and then the direction, it will make a nice ringlet for you. Alright anyway, you're probably getting bored. 
I know I'm just having fun at this point. The magic continues as it dries. Now, I can't touch it anymore until it's dry. Um, actually, if I use my diffuser, I'm going to go ahead and get that going. And I'll, I will diffuse it until it's about 90% dry. And then um, I'm going to hairspray it. Let it finish air drying and then I will decrunch it and I'll show you the end result here in a bit.